Okay, so for our final video here, um, we're just going to take a look at the very last tiny, tiny bits that we can resolve to make this look as good as possible. Now it's going to turn off the curves there. Let's go quickly review our animation and see where we're at with it. Right. It's looking pretty good, but um, here are the things that would stick out to me. As it comes through, you might start seeing places like right here where the knee pops. It just sort of moves too far in one frame, and therefore it's those little pops just need to be adjusted. You might get it elsewhere here in the leg. And I just want to make sure that you know when we get to that up frame, if this really is meant to be the up frame, that the leg feels like it's up. Um, like it's straight there, so somehow that's sort of come off somewhere along the lines. But just a few things to, to fix up. So let's just go in and uh, and check those things out. So I'm going to go Nerves Curves, and I'm just going to file Save Scene As, and we're going to call this one Polish underscore 01. And... So we'll start here with this leg. So make sure that there's no pops between here and here. Might even be able to get that leg feeling a little bit straighter. So let's try 0.35 as our stretch. No, 0.4. Okay, this is about as straight as it's going to get. So that difference there looks good, but right here it's just a bit too much. So what I can do, see, can I take the stretch value here I can't lower it on this rig. Some rigs I can actually arbitrarily shorten the leg, but this rig doesn't allow me to do that. Um, there are two, possibly two, maybe three options, I'm not sure, uh, or, or at least one option I know, maybe two options. Um, one thing to do is on frame two to stretch the leg out a little bit more. So is that doing anything? Stretching the leg there? doesn't appear to be doing anything, does it? Hmm. It's very interesting. Let's just uh, step back there. Definitely doing something there. Yep, good. <laughs> but not doing anything here. Very interesting. Um, so let me try my second option, which would be to potentially grab this pole vector. And on this particular rig, there is a... Um, and this is not the case on all rigs, but it is on this particular rig. There is the ability to go in on my feet and choose um, knee lock. What knee lock does is it locks itself to the position of the pole vector, which means that if I move this pole vector around, doo -doo 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 -doo, it will change the whole shape of that leg. It's kind of cool, I get gummy legs. Um, which is all well and good, but... Um, I don't want that necessarily on every frame. So for instance, on frame one, I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to key knee lock to zero there. And on frame two, um, I'm going to want to probably uh, use, the, use the knee lock. And on frame three, I'm going to probably turn it off again. Maybe I'll frame four, definitely I'll turn it off. But uh, So let's just go ahead, key selected. Okay. Um, so frame two, let's turn it on right there, and we'll keep it on on frame um, frame three there as well. All right, so it is on, and um, what we're going to do now is going back to trying to match it to frame one. We're just really trying to make sure that that knee's position sort of makes a certain degree of sense. Pull that back there. So if we watch that action, that's looking relatively decent. If I turn off the, the curves there, just sort of look what the knee is doing. Let's just watch that real quick. There's enough stretch back there. Okay, I like that pretty well. Might even go back here, and that's going to push it back a little bit right here, so that as it comes out of this position, it's not so much of a change. Maybe I could even 
maybe I'll even use it um, here on four. So actually, let's go ahead and turn on all of our curves. I'm actually going to turn Neelock on. There is a, I can see there's an overshoot happening here. So if I go into my uh, graph editor here, I'll turn this on at, oops, not there. I'll turn it on at four. And I'll turn it off on five. So these will all just be linear. All right, so it just stays on. The night turns off. All right, um, so we definitely don't want it to be way out there. And what I'm trying to do is just to kind of slow into what this knee is doing. Sometimes it can help if I don't have to actually see the curves. Yeah, it looks okay. All right, yeah, I like that. That's good. Cool. So that's my uh, that's my little trick for solving that. Checking, just I'm just sort of checking the whole foot here. Now, like I said, frame 10 is meant to be the up, but for some reason it is no longer fully up. The knee is bent there. And somewhere along the line, this has been altered. I'm not really sure how. So we don't even have a stretch value going on there at the moment. So what's causing that? So heel ball would be turning that up or down, but we don't re we don't have that. We don't need to be stretching. We can't bring it back. I think this is another case where we need to use the uh, the pole vector, right? So frame eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So we'll say nine. We'll start at nine. So we got to go back and grab the foot. We're going to go in for knee lock, key that at 8, at 0. And at 9 and 10, it's going to become on. Okay. And at 11, let's just say it's off again. Actually, it might need to still be on at 11. Let's turn it on at 11. Oops. Actually, at 11, um, I can get away by turning heel ball down a little bit, I think. Yeah, there we go. That will solve that issue. All right, so 9 and, um, nine and 10 here. Pull this back, 9. And 10, it will be just as it locks into position before it twists around there. Don't want a twist happening, that's for sure. What does it look like overall? Show NURBS curves. There's a little bit of a twist happening there that I still don't like. So show. Maybe I just have to get. Maybe I just have to deal with it there being a little bit of a, um, of a twist there or a slight bend there. Rather, I do think that the overall the hips should be up slightly more there. So translate y. Let me just pull these up slightly here. That will solve some of this issue. Mm. 
interesting. Um, I'm going to try doing that by first turning off my knee lock and then playing around with my hips. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. Maybe in this case the knee lock is, is not really the solution. So let's just go ahead and um, see what that does on frame 9. It might be useful on frame 9. Yeah, it probably will be, in fact. To avoid a pop. Maybe even on frame 8. That might work. See what that looks like. Okay. Pretty happy with that. So this is just really fine tuning, fine finessing stuff. Um, if we go back, show those curves again, and as we come in here, now we get a little bit of a pop again in this knee right here. So that could be controlled by the amount of rotation here on the heel ball. Good. Now we have a bit of a pop going on between here and here. So we'll go back and we'll turn on key knee lock off there, key it on here. Pull that back. Let's take a look. E lock. Looks okay. He seems to kind of go down and up there. We don't really want. So make sure that these overall position in all the different directions don't do weird things. Pull it down there. Way it seems like it's actually following a, a trajectory. Good. Okay, I like that. So I think we followed that leg pretty well. Straight, no pops. Good. Now let's just check to see the other leg here, make sure that that's doing what we want it to do. So we get that same pop that's going to happen right here. So uh, knee lock off, key selected. Knee lock on, key selected. And 
turn it off again here. Pull it back, pull it down. Let's compare that to 18 here. Yeah, pretty similar. Fortunately, it's just on a single frame and nobody will probably ever notice. That leg comes up nice and straight, which is good. Coming in here, nice. There's a little bit of a pop happening right here, similar to what we saw previously in the other leg. So, um, key knee lock off there and then over here we keyed it on for one this is over one two three frames so here we're going to do the same thing so one uh that's off there so on one two three then it'll be off again key selected so here at 14 it will be on 15 it will be on and at 16, it will be on. All right. Now we're just going to pull it back here each time. Trying to see why the knee seems to kind of go up a little bit there. Definitely a bit of a jump right there. It seems a little bit, just a little bit off there. Kind of just reaches a little bit too much into that. Does this one still have? Yes, it does. Still push that back a bit. Okay, that's looking better. A little bit of a force pop there. I suppose it's all right. Okay, and now as the leg comes up, good, good. Foot's coming off the ground just a little bit there, tiny, tiny bit. So that might be just a matter of. Uh, the stretch factor. So key stretch here. Um, can have a little bit of stretch here. A tiny bit. Yep. And then here there would be zero stretch. 
Yes, no, maybe so. And we'll put it in the little value that it was 0 0.1, 0 0.05. There we go, something like that. There we go, cool. Great. Now I think, I think that that's pretty much everything. So let's just watch it and see what we get. So there's one thing here that just I think that this knee can just be eased out just a little bit more. Comes in and then it kind of pops out a little bit too quickly, maybe. Maybe. Pull it back just a little bit. See what happens when I do that. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. And just from the front. It's looking good. Um, now, honestly, one thing I would do normally if I was actually animating a walk properly is I would never end up leaving the feet um, totally straightforward like that. Like, we generally have our feet rotated out when we're walking. Um, and that could be an extra little addition to whatever it is that you're doing here. Uh, and it can make the walk, you know, extra nice. But um, you don't want to add so much in that it starts to feel like there's any kind of personality in it. But it's, um, it's one of those things when I'm doing a real walk that I don't ever keep the feet perfectly straightforward. So I'm not going to worry about that here. This is fine for our purposes, and uh, this is what a vanilla walk looks like. So with that, um, you can play blast it out. Get yourself a nice little uh, intro vanilla walk. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can do two more steps. And um, so there you go. Hope you've uh, learned a lot from this.